what are some of the best apps for editing Instagram photos, videos, and for making your stories stand out? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button and stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks that I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. If you wanna get a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I know how valuable your time is and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. This video is going to be split up into three sections, apps for photo editing, video editing, and getting creative with your stories. I will do my best to link each app in the description below so that you can download it if it sounds fun for you. Jumping straight into the apps for photos. The first app for photo editing that I love to use personally is Lightroom Mobile. With Lightroom, the mobile version is free, so you don't have to worry about paying for that Adobe suite. It's probably the most common app for video editing, and that's because it has really great abilities and functions for you to truly manipulate and tweak the photo to exactly your liking. I know for me, when I first started out on Instagram, looking at Lightroom was overwhelming. <laughs> it was terrifying. I wanted something with like pretty presets that I could just make little tweaks and be done with it because photo editing was scary for me. So if you are looking for a alternative to Lightroom, I suggest using apps like A Color Story, Visco, and Tezza. All three of those are free, but there are in-app purchases, which is going to be the same case for a lot of these apps I'm talking about. While they might be free, they do have those in-app purchases where you can upgrade, buy more templates, buy more presets, and all of that stuff. The next app that I love to use is called Over, and I use Over specifically for layering multiple photos to create images like this one. It's basically like Photoshop for dummies, maybe? Not really, but kind of. <laughs> Over has a lot of great stickers and patterns that you could play with to layer onto your already existing photos. The main reason that I use Over is to, like I said, layer images that I've taken together to really bring to life the creative idea that I had. So in this image, as you can see, I have different hands coming into the side and I took like five different photos and layered them all within Over to edit and create this final product. An alternative for Over is PixArt. I know PixArt, if you like having graphic photos like this or creative elements in your photos, then you could use PixArt, which has a lot of really great stickers as well. Both those apps are free with in-app purchases. The next photo editing app that I like is Snapseed. Snapseed is free and I like to use it for one particular reason. There's a lot of great features within Snapseed, but for me, I use the expand tool specifically. So you plug in a photo into your Instagram planning feed app and the photo chops your head off. <laughs> like when you go to see your feed overall, it's cutting your head off. And that's because when you took the photo, you didn't leave enough head space to fit Instagram crop. Super annoying, Instagram crop, we all hate it sometimes. But with Snapseed, you can use the expand tool to add more space to an image that didn't have that space. I think that's really great and convenient. And I used that for this photo particularly because I didn't have enough headroom up top. It was cropping my face. So I wanted to bump that extra space, create more image and, and Snapseed was a great way for me to do that. The last photo editing app that I use is an app called Retouch. I believe Retouch is $1.99, but it is absolutely worth it if you're somebody who is always bothered by like those background people or background signs, things that you have to get rid of in the background constantly. Snapseed makes it super duper easy to get rid of those weird things in your photos. For example, here's a picture that John and I took when on vacation in Palm Springs, and there's this weird box thing on the wall that I just wasn't vibing with. <laughs> I used Retouch to edit it out, and it was really easy. You just drag your finger over the object that you want to remove and it completely gets rid of it. This does work best for when the background is like one solid image and isn't too messy. If you have a lot of things happening in the background, it will be harder to remove those specific things you want to remove. So before jumping into my favorite apps for videos, I'm excited to tell you guys about this sneaky way you can step up your content creation game with today's video sponsor, Storyblocks. So Storyblocks has an unlimited library of all the stock footage that you would need. And for somebody like myself, whose job is to literally be pumping constant content out, it can really burn me out. It's helpful to ha have stock options when I need a break or even to step up and oomph my video posts. So if you wanna be like, hey, look at this cool latte, you could be like, bam, B-roll. Or if you wanna make a dope travel video, you could be like, bam, here's this cool shot. Or even if you're a social media manager and you're running out of content for the page that you manage, you have a ton of options to go through with Storyblocks. Now, I know today's video is all about apps, but none of the apps that I'm mentioning have a stock imagery option, which is why I wanted to share this website with you guys in case that's more of what you're looking for. So if having access to unlimited stock photos and videos is something that you're looking for for your social media, then I definitely recommend checking out their unlimited all access subscription by clicking the link in the description. Now going into video editing, 
editing apps. My all-time favorite video editing app, which I'm sure most of you guys know if you know me, is InShot. Oh, InShot. I love InShot. I have a video here talking about how you can edit your videos using InShot. I love it more than iMovie. I just think it's way more user-friendly and you have a lot of more options to manipulate your videos to your liking and your vision. I feel like every time I check the cost of this app, it changes. Ranges from either free to $2.99. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's like a one-time payment of $2.99 and it's absolutely worth it. I'm not gonna give any alternatives for this app because there's really no other app like it and it's the best. Peace out, Girl Scout. The next video editing app that I personally love is called the Film App, Film with two M's. This app was created by Zoella or it's founded by the company Zoella, um, also a YouTuber. And this one is an investment, so you can either pay 30 bucks to have it for an entire year or pay $6 a month. I just did the 30 bucks for an entire year because I love the app so much. What I use this app for is for color grading my videos or adding colors and filters to videos. There are other apps out there, like an alternative might be Prequel, which is free with in-app purchases. Same thing with Visco. You can add the Visco filters to video, of course, with in-app purchases. But for me, out of all of the filters I found, film just fits my branding a little bit more with the, their filter options. They have preset options and even they have grain effects or VHS effects and all of the effects and abilities within the app just fits a little bit more better with me and my branding, which is why I chose to invest into it. So those are a few options for color grading your videos is film, prequel and visco. Now the last app that I use for video is Hyperlapse. Hyperlapse is just a really simple app where you can create time lapses. That's really it and it is free. You can set up your phone, open the Hyperlapse app, press record and record yourself doing a task for 30 minutes and it'll and then when you stop it, you can choose options to trim it down and speed it up. You speed it up so it's like okay, turn 30 minutes into a 1 minute clip of you just doing everything really really fast. So it's just really easy to use, super straightforward and it's free, so you're welcome. The next section we're going to talk about are creative story apps. The first one is the Threads app, and this is connected with Instagram, where you can record yourself doing a story, and it will caption or generate the captions for your story while you're talking. So it auto-populates those captions. Now, Instagram did recently come out with a feature where it is a captions feature. So you know how when you record stories on Instagram, you have stickers like the, the GIF sticker, the questions box sticker, polls, all those stickers. They have a new one called captions where it'll auto-generate your caption, but not everybody has that feature yet. I personally do not have that feature. I know other people have that feature available to them, but I don't, so this thread app is, is a really great option. The next app is called Template. This app is another one that was founded and created by the Zoella team and it is another investment. So it's $25 for an entire year or $4.99 per month. I purchased this one at the $25 a year so I could have it for an entire year at a lower cost. And I use this specifically for templates. That's what it's called, templates. You can use so many different template options and plug in photos, plug in videos, change the color of the templates and really make it your own so that your stories can stand out a little bit more and be a little bit more fun. And yeah, it's just cool. <laughs> The reason why I think this one is an investment compared to free alternatives like using the Over app or Unfold, both of those are great alternatives if you can't afford um, investing into an app, that's okay. Those are some other ones you can look into. The reason there is an investment is because the templates that I've seen on them are a little bit better and more unique and creative than the basic ones I've seen on other apps that are free. Play with the free ones. If you're not seeing what you like, check out template and maybe you'll find something that's more suited to you. Now, I personally don't like to use any planning apps like Planoly, Preview, Unum, Later, because I don't think any of them are very compatible with videos, reels, carousels, and that's why none of those apps were mentioned because I'm just not 100% sold on any particular one. I'm, I'm waiting for the day where one of them comes out with like this feature that takes me over the edge. You know, if, if you're able to plan out your reels or any sort of video content or open up the scheduling capabilities to creator accounts, I'm waiting for one of them to wow me and I'm not sold on any of them. <laughs> so that's why I haven't mentioned any planning app. Um, I do use Canva to plan out my Instagram feed. So if you guys wanna see how I use Canva to plan out my feed, you can watch this video. I always forget which way to point. But watch the video in the card above and that's how I plan out my feed using Canva. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, tap that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my videos. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy, bye.